This video is looking at the bus stop method for division. So here we have a division question. 64 divided by 2. Now what we do is first of all we draw a bus stop like that and in the bus stop we put the bigger number which is known as the dividend. The big number goes inside the bus stop like that. The smaller number, the number we're dividing by, the number 2, goes outside the bus stop here, that's called the divisor, and that goes outside. And then we say, OK, we're going to start with 6, we're going to think about 6 divided by 2. How many 2's are there in 6? So, if we wanted to, we could draw 6 crosses, and we could put them into groups of 2. There's one group of 2, another group, and another group. We can see we've got 3 groups of 2, which gives us the answer 3. Then we move along to the right. We've got 4 divided by 2. So, again, we could, if we wanted to, we could think about drawing groups. We could write 4 out and put them into groups of 2. There's a group, there's a group. We've got 2 groups. So, 4 divided by 2, the answer is 2. OK, so that's the bus stop method for division. Now, if we look at another question, 655 divided by 5. Now, because we're dividing by 5, we know we're going to need our 5 times tables. So, again, draw a bus stop. In goes the big number, the dividend. On the outside goes the divisor. Now, first thing we're going to think about is 6 divided by 5. How many 5's are there in 6? If I draw 6 crosses, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and put them into groups of 5, I can make 1 group of 5, but I've got 1 left over. So I've made 1 group of 5, which goes at the top, and my remaining 1, this 1 there, that's the remainder, so that's going to go underneath, next to the next number, the 5, to make that 15. Now I think to myself, how many 5's are there in 15? Well I know from my 5 times table that 3 times 5 equals 15, so the answer is 3. There are 3 5's in 15. Then I go to the end, again I've got 5 divided by 5, and I know 5 divided by 5 is of course 1, as 1 times 5 is 5. Let's look at one more, 208 divided by 4. So, I can see the 4, and I'm going to be thinking about my 4 times tables. I'm going to draw my bus stop. In goes 208, the big number, the dividend, and on the outside goes the divisor, which is 4. Now, I'm going to think about how many 4s are there in 2. How many groups of 4 can I make with 2? If I draw 2 crosses, I can't make any groups of 4. So, I'm going to put 0. There are no groups of 4 there, but there are 2 left over, I've got my remainder 2. What I can do is I can underline that, like that. So that means I've got 20 now, so for the next number I'm going to be actually looking at 20, because I've got the remainder 2 and 0. So, how many 4s are in 20? I know from my 4 times table that 5 times 4 equals 20. So I know there are 5 4s in 20. Then moving on to the last number, I know that there are 2 4s in 8. And there is my answer, 52. 